Well, our stuck track is not back on, and now we've got a bigger problem. We blew a hydraulic line. I'm hoping that's all it is. Hopefully it didn't blow the motor. Um, just saw hydraulic ultra blowing out of here, so I'm going to get this cover popped off and see what we find. So matters are only getting worse right now. All right, so I got that first big door off, and uh, a bunch of hydraulic oil ran out, and at first I thought it was coming out of the motor, but then it, I think it was just pulled in there. Um, so when I started following this hose, took that door off, still hydraulic oil all pulled in there and pulled in this part of the frame behind, and then I looked underneath and noticed hydraulic oil was coming out around my belly plant, belly pans, so, or my skid plates, whatever you want to call them. So pulled one of those down, and I'm fixing to look up in here and see there's still hydraulic oil dripping. I think it blew a hose somewhere up in here, and that oil all just ran down through the frame. So it's looking like it's not the motor, thank God. Um, but I've got to figure out how to fish this hydraulic line out of here. <laughs> so that's going to be the next challenge. Figuring out which one it is and figure out how to get it the heck out. All right, well, this is kind of cool. Looking up inside the belly of the beast, I've got two big hydraulic lines. Looks like a smaller hydraulic line. And I'm not sure if that top little one is a line or if it's a wire. Um, but I don't know which one of these three is leaking. It doesn't look like they're leaking at the motor. It looks like they ruptured somewhere down inside the tube there you see daylight coming through from the other end where I took that other door panel off so it's one of these three hoses I don't know which one and uh, it looks like it's broke somewhere internally so I'm just gonna have to I guess take each one off and see which one it is it's blown well with the help of Harbor Freight and a very 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 patient wife I'm back tonight it is about uh, probably about 10 o'clock now I hung around, got the kids put in bed, which my wife called me 15 minutes after I left and said that didn't work because both of them that I put to sleep were up screaming and uh, the infant was starting to wake up hungry too. So anyway, uh, she said she'd deal with it and I got out here and got this hose off. So it's looking like, I mean, I'm no hydraulic hose pro, but um, I think that shit's junked. Pardon my language, but you know what? This thing... Woo, son of a gun. This is not something you want to deal with. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's a blown hose. I'm not even going to pull the other one off. I'm going to take this one to them, have them rebuild this one, whip it on there, and I hope that's the only issue. But I got lucky. This was the bottom hose. So down here on my pump, bottom hose, top hose, and underneath the machine up in the belly, it's the same thing, bottom hose, top hose. So easier to get to the bottom hose obviously of course now that the bottom hose is off the top hose would be a little bit easier too but one hose off I'm not gonna fight a second hose off just to take a look at it I'm just gonna gamble that this one that looks like it's pretty well blown is probably the one that's blown so I'm gonna get into the shop hopefully tomorrow at lunch I'll be able to run it over there and have them rebuild it real quick and um, you know maybe get it out here tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night and get it put back on and get the machine filled back up and hopefully back in working order so anyway Let's uh, let's call it this for right now, and I'll <clears throat> make a little update once I get it back on there. All right, so I got the new hose put on tonight. It's uh, 10:30 right now. This was uh, took me a bit longer than I'd hoped, just because I wasn't thinking straight the whole time. They put a swivel fitting on both ends, so here's my swivel on this one, and then on the other side. I'm not going to crawl in there and show you because I just don't care. But uh, they had to put on a, a, a manual. 45 an actual bent elbow versus what was on there which is a smooth bent piece of pipe Should all work fine. I hope I mean it's a hydraulic shop. I'd hope they know what they're doing um, Got the hose fixed up cost me over $200 which sucks just to get a hose built, but I guess that's the going rate I don't know And uh, of course it's gonna cost me probably a couple hundred in hydraulic oil I have no idea how much I spilled out, but it's about 50 bucks per five gallons or ten dollars a gallon <clears throat> and um, anyway, we'll see. But got it put on there, got everything torqued down as tight as I can get it. Um, for right here, I was just standing on the wrench, so you know, that's 175 foot pounds or whatever. I guess that's good enough. It's, it's enough, it ain't going anymore. So, anyway, I'm gonna walk over to the truck and I'm gonna get the two buckets of hydraulic oil that I have and uh, get them dumped in here and start it and at least just see what it does. See if it's still knocking, if it wants more hydraulic oil or what. I'm going to go ahead and dump them in while I'm here, and that way I know if I need to stop at the store and buy more tomorrow, I will. Uh, so let me get that done, and let's see how it goes. All right, well, you can hear she's purring in the background, and uh, 
hydraulic pump's not knocking, so I at least got enough in there to keep that from happening. Don't see any leaks here. Crawled underneath, I don't see any leaks in the belly, which I I was thinking that these things basically always have pressure on them when the machine is running, um, since that hydraulic pump is basically direct drive from the engine. Um, but I went ahead and I engaged the hydraulics just in case, and then I bumped this motor just to just to make sure uh, it didn't spin the track. I was, I was hoping, and I'm still kind of hoping that maybe what actually happened was that the track started to slip and it blew the hose. Um, and then I didn't really realize it, you know, until I worked with it for a while and it finally pumped all the hydraulic oil out and then it started leaking because, I mean, this thing is low, low, low on hydraulic oil. So I'm thinking it filled, you know, the whole inside of the frame of oil basically before it looked at me and said, hey, by the way, <laughs> you sprung a leak. So maybe if I blew the hose first and it didn't have the strength to actually spin the motor, but we'll see. That's why I said I just bumped it. I didn't try to put any stress on it and it didn't turn as freely as I would hope. But, I mean, the engine's at low throttle, blah, 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 blah. So, I might try again uh, in the future. Not tonight. I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. If the hydraulics are pumping anything, let them get the air out. Um, but 10 gallons of hydraulic oil did not even bring it up to the sight glass. So, I'm going to need, I guess tomorrow I'll stop and get another 10, 15, and, um, you know, I don't know. 20. I know that they use this hydraulic oil anyway whenever I'm working it hard, so maybe go ahead and get 20. You know, hey, what's another $200? Uh, but anyway, it's 11 o'clock at night, and uh, I gotta get up at 5, so I'm gonna head to the house and um, leave all this set up for right now, kill the engine, leave everything set up, and uh, we'll be back with some more hydraulic oil to hopefully get it filled up again tomorrow and get her tested. So just a little final update or another update here on the hose. Um, I got the track back on and uh, you know it looks like everything held up through that as far as him fighting around with the machine and working the track back on. So I think the track, I think the, the hose is holding too. It looks like there's some, some wet on it, like something else could be leaking, but I think it's still just oil that's all running down from inside the frame and it's getting it wet because there's nothing running out, nothing flowing out. Um, if there was a serious leak, you know, something Something like a hydraulic hose, if it's leaking, it's freaking leaking. You know, there's not like that real slow seep unless it's at a fitting or a coupler. And I can check my fittings and couplers and they're fine. So, um, anyway, I'll get the doors and all the panels and everything put back on. I'm going to walk the machine over here on a little bit cleaner, solider ground before I got to crawl up under it. But I'll get all the plates and doors and everything put back on and we'll be back in Venice.